All right, we have here a 1998 right? yes, Ford Explorer. Uh, this is my buddy Barry's Explorer. Uh, this was our Christmas project, December of 2009. We finished it, what, about January 2009, right? Yes. So this is three years running. This was a 4BT Cummins conversion. It's a 98 Explorer. It's got a 90 model 4BT Cummins in it. Uh, coupled to a 518 automatic adapter plate and transmission pulled from a 95 Ram 250 pickup. Do a little quick walk around, check it out. Again, it's a 98 Explorer. He's kind of took this a little further than mine. He's got some cool Cummins badges on here. Throw the folks for a loop. This is three years running. You've logged a little better than 100,000 miles in three years, right? Yes, sir. Averaging 30 miles to the gallon. Since we finished it, yep. Better than 30 miles to the gallon. The three years, over 100,000 miles since we completed this conversion. Straight three inch exhaust. Let's raise the hood up, take a look. There we have it. 90 model 4BT Cummins. A little rotary VE injection pump. We got it set up. We got cruise control hooked up. Air conditioning. Vacuum pump. Drives the power brakes and AC controls in the dash. And also the cruise control. Power steering pump, also pulled from a 95 Ram 250, 6BT Cummins. Some interesting exhaust fabrication. Yeah, so this particular engine was a 105 horse, 2500 RPM, 4BT. 240 foot pounds of torque at 1800 RPM. Let's fire it up.
fuel pump and fabricated our own fitting to bypass, do away with the pump. We still have a sock and a pickup in the tank. We're still using the factory sending unit. All original gauges and instrumentation works with the exception of right now the tachometer.